a long time no vlog. I don't know if it seems like a long time to you guys, but for some reason to me, it just feels like I haven't vlogged a long time. But um, I figured I'd turn the camera on because I'm on my way to do some makeup shopping. And we all love makeup shopping here. Pretty positive. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm gonna go to Ulta right now. Sorry, my radio's on. I didn't even realize. Yes, so I am on my way to Ulta right now and I'm gonna go get a new eyebrow pencil because I'm out. Um, and I'm, they have a sale going on right now. It's the fall sale, I think it's called. So they're having certain things on sale and I know that for sure NYX brand cosmetics is 30% off right now. And I actually really wanted to get some NYX stuff for my kit. So I have new news to tell you guys. I decided that I'm going to take up makeup freelance or makeup how do you say that how do you call it I'm going to start freelance makeuping no that doesn't make sense <laughs> I'm going to be a freelance makeup artist there we go um, so also sorry that I look like crap right now I'm literally just like bumming it today because um, I just dropped my daughter off at school and my husband is home. He's going to take a nap and he's stayed with Austin because Austin's already taking a nap. So I was like, you know what? I have some time to myself to go ahead and do makeup shopping because I hate when they come with me because I feel rushed. But anyway, so I just look like crap right now because I still have to shower and get ready, but I just wanted to go get this done with now. So back to the story. Um, I'm going to start... Uh, doing makeup on the side and you know how I've told you if you've been on my channel I used to go to cosmetology school I do not have my license so yes I don't have my cosmetology license but I know that with makeup you don't actually need a certification or a license to do that so I'm actually going to be um, taking up some makeup freelance. I'm gonna do that on the side, go, you know, with all the other things I have going on, I'm just gonna kinda throw that in there and do that too. Um, and be, the reason why is because actually my friend Michelle, who I've known from cosmetology school, she does hair right now and she's got her own little business and she was like, um, hey, do you do makeup on the side? Because I know a lot of people who need their makeup done whenever I do their hair for like weddings and quinces and all that and sweet 16s and proms like all like special events and so she was asking me if I did that and I was like well I used to because there actually was a period of time where I did do some makeup on the side for like my cousin's uh, friends for prom and stuff like that but I didn't have a whole kit together so I stopped doing it because I felt bad I felt awkward I felt unprofessional because I didn't have my entire kit together basically I asked them to bring their own makeup and I just did their makeup for literally $15 because they were providing all of the makeup. So I gave them like obviously the hugest discount ever. So for reference point, I think super professional um, makeup artists, been doing it years and you're experienced and all that. I'm pretty positive they charge around $60 for a full face of makeup. So yeah, I was charging $15 because I didn't have any stuff and I just asked them to bring their own stuff and then I would apply it to them. Um, so anyways, then I stopped doing that because like I said, I just felt unprofessional. I felt like, you know, how can I really get away with doing this? People having to bring their own makeup and their own brushes. It's kind of ridiculous, you know? And then I became a shift supervisor where I was working at the time. So then I was just kind of like, oh, I'm making more money this way anyways. So I'm just going to give up this dream for right now. I'm just going to not do this. It just was so overwhelming at the time because back then we were not as financially stable as we are now and um, I was like overwhelmed by how much money it was going to cost to put a kit together I mean it's a lot you know you need to have like every shade of foundation every shade of concealer you need to have a few different shades for your brows you need to have all kinds of different uh, lip glosses lipsticks matte <laughs> liquid lips you know like um, all the different powders, the bronzers, the highlighters, the blushes, you, the setting sprays, the brushes, the makeup 
Um, yeah, it's just a lot. I'm sure you guys already know. What is this hair right here? Like, can you just stay in there, please? So I don't look like even more of a weirdo that I already look like. I know you guys are probably like, Christian, you're fine. You look fine. But I just don't like going to stores without being done up for some reason. I feel like they judge you. And they're just like, why is this girl buying this makeup? She doesn't even know how to use it. And it reminds me of this meme that I saw one time when it was like, when you go makeup shopping at Sephora and you're in a big hoodie and no makeup and you're just thinking to yourself, you have no idea what I'm capable of. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Okay, I have ADD, I'm sorry. Um, Yes, I'm going to Ulta. Long story short, even though I just told you a long story. Um, I used to really want to do freelance makeup, did it for a tiny bit, then I stopped, and now I decided I'm going to do it again. So I'm trying to build a kit right now so that I can work with my friend on certain events and all that and, you know, see what happens. But either way, it's just good to have a kit. Because if somebody I know or a friend of a friend of a friend or somebody is just like, hey, do you know anybody who does makeup? I need somebody in a quick amount of time um, because I'm having a wedding in a month or whatever and I need somebody for the cheap. There's me. So I'm not going to charge. Obviously, I'm not going to charge $60 an hour. I'm going to charge less than that, way less than that. So it'll be a deal. And we're gonna see how it goes. It'll, I think it'll be fun. Like, I need to practice though. I'm gonna use my friends and I'm gonna practice on them just because I think I'm way better at makeup now than I used to be, but it's way different applying makeup to somebody else. It's way different. It, it's actually harder if you ask me because you have to be so cautious that you're not cross contaminating. Um, you need to use disposable applicators. You need to make sure you're disinfecting everything after each client, washing your brushes, um, applying mascara on somebody freaking sucks. It's really hard. Applying liquid eyeliner to somebody is pretty hard. Um, yeah, so <laughs> it's a little more difficult. It's a little more time consuming, but I'm really excited about it. And I'm excited that I actually have some money to kind of buy things here and there. So I'm just going to slowly be building my kit. I'm going to be using things that I know are reliable products. Uh, most of it will probably be like affordable price makeup, which is totally fine. I don't think people really care. Um, but, you know, I can't be buying high-end stuff. But so far I have, um, what is it called? So far I have some contour stuff and I have a highlighter and I have one foundation and what else and I have some brushes so we're gonna see that was really awkward there was somebody right next to me and I didn't know if they saw me talking to my camera that's just kind of weird like usually I don't care but then sometimes I care um but yeah so I have some brushes I got a pencil sharpener like a eyeliner sharpener um I got two eyeliners a brown one and a black one and I got some makeup sponges I got some q-tips in there and luckily I still have my train case from cosmetology school so that's pretty nice and convenient to have so I don't have to buy something to hold my makeup you know I'm just like a hot mess I'm gonna try to take you guys with me but it's kind of awkward So I just got out of Ulta. I'm like so annoyed at how gross I look right now. I know like it doesn't matter, but ew, I just feel gross. So anyways, just got out of Ulta. They have these cute pink bags because it's breast cancer awareness. Um, I didn't bring you guys really in there just because it's kind of awkward. Plus I started talking to the ladies who work there. So we had some good conversation. So I ended up spending $15 and I saved $16. So without this sale and without this coupon, I had found on Retail Me Not there is a uh, $5 off $15 purchase for Ulta. Go ahead and look at Retail Me Not. They have that coupon. I think it's good until October 3rd 
Um, hopefully I'll have this video out before then so you guys know, but either way, um, I saved $16, which is amazing. It's like basically I got everything for half off. So um, I'll show you the NYX products I got. They were all 30% off, like I said. So I got myself this uh, NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. And I got this because I hear Juicy Jazz talk about this a lot. And she says that it's her favorite brow gel and, or brow pomade, I'm sorry. Um, I've been using the pencils, but this was actually $6.99 plus the 30% off. So it was like pretty cheap. And the brow pencil that I really like is by L'Oreal, which is like $8.99. And I only have like a certain amount of money right now is on a budget so I was like you know I'm gonna try this because I've been using my elf brow kit it's got a little gel and a little powder and I've been using that lately because I'm too lazy to draw on my brows with a pencil so I was like I think I might go back to pomade and see if I like it so I wanted to give that one a try I got mine in the shade brunette and then I also got the NYX full coverage concealer in a pot so I got this because again <laughs> Juicy Jazz like one of my most favorite youtubers uh, she uses this to clean up her um, eyebrows so I thought this would be good to clean up clients eyebrows um, um, this is gonna be for my makeup freelance kit and I got it in the shade beige because probably most of the clients that I'm gonna have at this time is probably gonna be people in the same shade range as me like all the people and all the women I know are basically in my same like medium shade range so I got this for now and then obviously I'm gonna get more colors and a wider variety later but this is just what I got for now to clean up the brows and then you could also spot correct acne with that and I got another concealer, uh, the HD Studio Photo Photogenic <laughs> Concealer because this is an amazing concealer. I use it myself. I love it. And I got the shade Beige because Beige pretty much goes for a lot of different medium skin tones. It's got that yellow undertone so it kind of brightens. And it's pretty full coverage and it looks really good in photos so I picked that up for the freelance kit and also for the freelance kit do you know how sad it is to buy makeup that is not for yourself like it is so sad I'm telling you um, I also got a lip liner because I don't have any lip liners for the kit yet and so I got this um, NYX lip liner in the shade natural and it's just like a natural beige lip liner there um, but yeah just something just like a regular color for now because I'm assuming I'm gonna do weddings soon and I really want to do this gig that my friend told me about on October uh, 7th and it's a wedding but I'm not sure if I'm gonna have babysitting for that day so I don't know if I'll be able to do it but I'm kind of like gearing the first bulk of my makeup towards weddings uh, just because if I am last minute able to make that gig I want to make sure I have the right stuff for her and then um, I didn't have enough money to use that 15 that five dollar off 15 coupon I had to spend like another dollar so uh, I just went and I shopped around and I was like well what am I gonna get because I want to actually get something that can go towards the kit and then I saw that these sponges were on sale for $4.99 and you get two of them and it's the eco tools makeup perfecting blender duo sponges and I've heard really good things about these but I personally haven't used them yet and then actually when I brought them to the counter the lady I'd been talking to most of the time she was like oh my god have you tried these sponges they're really really good she says that it makes the real technique real technique sponge look like a piece of crap I don't really know what she said but basically it just like shoots the real technique ones out of the water so I figured for $4.99 you can't beat two sponges I definitely need those for my freelance kit so I ended up getting that um, so I figured I'd show you guys that and now we're just going to head home because there was somebody next to me while I'm filming and that was really awkward and it was a dude too like if it was a chick I wouldn't really care but I'm always just like these dudes don't know about our world okay they don't know that we watch YouTube to watch people show us new makeup that they bought because it makes us feel good and it makes us feel like we bought new makeup too right <laughs> does anybody know what I mean like 
because whenever I watch hauls, it's like it feels good to watch people get stuff because I can't get stuff all the time and I just want to see what they got. I don't know. It's fun. So yeah, those are the things that I got. I feel like I made really good purchases. I'm getting my kit together. It's coming along. I think I'm going to take a break the next week or so, maybe next two weeks. Maybe next week, actually. I won't really buy anything um, just because I have spent a good deal over the past week. I know my camera's like really badly angled. I'm just having a hard time with it right now. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to take a break for a week and, um, you know, probably buy a couple more foundations in a few weeks. Um, I'm going to give my wallet a break though, because <laughs> I've also been trying to do some fall shopping here and there. I'm trying to get some more clothes for the fall time. So yeah, that's about it. Um, I think it is like 1.30 now and my daughter gets out of school in an hour. So I'm probably gonna go home, chill for a bit. Strongly considering making a second, oh no, oh no, it would be my third. I've had two cups of coffee today. I'm strongly considering making a third cup of coffee. Um, I'm passing by a Starbucks, but I just really don't feel like paying for Starbucks right now because I just bought a bunch of makeup. So I'm going to be a good girl and I'm going to go home and make myself a cup of coffee. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I got my camera in a little bit of a better angle. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go home and chill and then I have to pick up my daughter. Oh, actually, what am I talking about? I need to go home and shower. I'm so gross. I feel so gross. Like, even though I'm not gross, like, I just, I need to shower in the morning before I go anywhere because I just feel gross. So, I just feel gross that I went in public without showering. I don't know. It just, it, bleh. So anyways, I'm going to go home and shower and get dressed for the day. Probably slap on a tiny bit of makeup so I can feel better about myself. And then pick up my daughter. And then we're probably going to take the kids to the park for a little bit like we normally do. That's our Monday routine as we take the kids to the park in the mall. And that's all I have planned for this day. But... Yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video. I just feel so weird right now. I feel like I'm in a really weird mood. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Give this a thumbs up if you want to. If you love me, if you appreciate me, I would appreciate that. <laughs> I'm going to stop being weird now, and I'm going to go. So I hope you guys have a great day. All right.